The stage is set. The final heat of the contest of the Corona Bali protected. Jeremy Floor is taking on Kano Igarashi in perfect conditions at the most high performance wave on the World Surf League Championship Tour. Thanks for watching on Fox. Flores looking for his fourth win of his career at the championship tour level. A rookie from 07. The seasoned vet looks like he's going to kick off with the first wave, but left behind. Priority with Kanoa Garachi as he's looking for his first win of his young career. Surfer representing Japan winds up off the bottom. Big power hook to start. Stretches out the top turn wrap, bottom drops out, crushes the lip. Igarashi gets tackled by the Whitewater at Karamas and won't get the finish. Yeah, Kanawa's still looking for uh, event win number one. Jeremy Flores, well, he's looking for number four. Kanawa Igarashi opens up with a beautiful searing maneuver. You know, this kid has just been getting better and better, Joe. His opening heat of the event, he got one point in total. Jeremy Flores with priority, famous for the buzzer beaters throughout this week. Starting early this wave, cupping out on the takeoff. There's the pit, stalling for it. Just a quick little vision and he'll lay down the rail. Inside track doesn't have too much on it. I think Jeremy's got to be really careful here. Obviously there's some beautiful waves and some beautiful tube rides, but that's not going to score when you compare it to big, massive maneuvers. Now, obviously you've got to get a wave like Steph Gilmore's, then the tube ride's going to come into play, but a wave like this, it's not really going to score highly. And Jeremy's got to be careful not to be just in that one dimension of looking for the barrel that's kind of got him where he's at right now. He was in Brazil and he was runner up to beat Derbage that season. In that event, as we watch Kanoa Garashi lock in, a gem of a wave at Karamas. Big flow. Winding up a layback carve. Igarashi swinging for the lift. Crushes it in the pocket. Back off the coping and stops it. <laughs> what happened out the back here? Oh, well, what happened was he did the beautiful lip line float. And it really did set him up for this turn right here. I mean, that was a, a beautifully placed maneuver. And then just capitalized with this inside bowl. I mean, Canelo was just... Waiting for that lip to show up every single time it did, he capitalized with a big maneuver, and I think that's what you got to do. You can't predict what the wave's going to do and try and force an issue. Kanoa's been good at that. He's just been taking his time with it, waiting for the wave to present itself, and then just utilize each and every turn to its, uh, you know, right to the bitter end, and he did exactly that. Beautiful start to the wave, and that's what you got to do here at Karama. Start strong and finish strong. Join the dots in between. Especially in the finals here, you can't really afford to make too many mistakes. And Kano Igarashi right there, beautiful layback gouge, so mixing it up, a beautiful combination of turns. And then it hits this beautiful inside again, mixing it up again with another serious maneuver. And finish with that lip line float with a tail tapping drop, creating that drama right at the end. The back, look at this thing, Joe. Jeremy Flores is going to lock into this thing. Can he come out of that? I don't think so. Momentum with Igarashi is going to get back out the back here. We'll see. Looks like he's going to get priority, but paddling by just let out the biggest yell, and he is feeling it, loving the crowd vibe. Everybody screaming for him. Most experienced, greatest surfer of all time in the semifinals. What a road for Igarashi. Winding up for the punt. Corrupt out the back. Kanoa listening to Martin Potter. No, I just wanted to eject real quick after rotating out with some speed. He'll have another opportunity under Jeremy Flores. There's the reverse. Reconnects with the pocket. We'll look for something on the end. Flores gets started. Rips into a solid power gouge. Drives hard off the top once again. Jeremy looking to light up the inside. Big belt off the lip. Snaps it hard right in front of Kanoa. Now the paddle battle for priority will start. Flores is fired up. That's better. Okay. 5.50. Jeremy Flores. Now watch his first turn here. That's what I'm talking about from Jeremy Flores. Big man turn as he just gouges into that face of the wave. A couple of big back-to-back -back maneuvers. And then comes through the inside and finishes nice and strong. On your feet, you have to to impress the judges. 
kicks out nicely, but watch this first turn here. Just takes his time, sets it up, drives off the bottom, and then right in the power, right where it counts, right in the guts of the wave, just unleashes one of the biggest turns we have seen this entire event. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this goes excellent, Joe. This is great surfing from Jeremy Flores. And again, to back it up with something really smooth and clean, mistake-free surfing from the Frenchman. It doesn't get any better than that. He could not have surfed that wave any better. And I'm glad the fact that he's forgotten about the tube ride right now and he's going back to basics. Get some big scores on the board. Get yourself back into the heat. It's exactly what Jeremy's done. We've now got a serious heat on our hands, Joe. That's right, Parts. A lot of the judges agree with you on that one, especially the 9-5 that was thrown. Off the bottom, setting up a big hack is Igarashi. Blowtail in transition sets that wrap into the pocket. And he'll fade out on the inside corner, looking to improve on a 5.5. Jeremy right in the seat, throwing some powerful rail turns in position for a solid one. Super deep on the reef, he'll pull in and ends up going away from him. He's forced to straighten out. <laughs> he had that stance where I thought he was just going to lunge into the pit. But those titles are getting tougher and tougher to achieve later in her career. Back to number one in the world. 8.40 to go. Flores, layback, blowtail. On the first opportunity, can't hang on. Michelle and Joan loving it. Different types of turns for Flores as he's up again, looking for a 6.18. There's a layback hack with the blowtail, controls it. Wrapping turn for Flores, and now setting up a meaty section. Connects. Yeah, well, underneath the priority, he needs to get busy, Joe. Three and a half minutes remaining, first turn. Big layback snap with a bit of a slide there. Straight off the bottom again, just a little sleepy on that maneuver. Now he's got to connect with the inside. Big lip line float jam. A 6.18 required. Let's have a look at the first turn. This is where the points are going to have to come from. Jams it right in the pocket, kicks the tail out. Let's those fins slide and then re-engages. Critical turn, free falls back down. So a nice maneuver there from Jeremy Flores. Is this gonna be enough to swing the heat? Brings it through the inside and, and this is where you really gotta connect nicely with that last maneuver. We saw Steph Gilmore just seal the deal with a 10 point ride with that last turn. So Jeremy getting the message now that he still needs a 6.18. He gets angry and fired up in moments like this. 90 seconds, draws that line into the barrel. Back out in front, here comes the layback car. Just barely hanging on. Fighting for the finish as he's down to a minute 20. It might be coming down to that last opportunity, Potts. As Igarashi is gonna learn that he has just taken a major victory on tour. At just 21 years of age, Kanoa now moves up to number two in the world. He hasn't even had the message yet, Potts. Yeah, I think he's just realized, Joe. He knows he's won. What a feeling. Don't break that board. <laughs> that thing's done you uh, some good work here this week, young man.